And another thing, when you're trying on clothes, I totally think that looking in the mirror and whatever like you really gravitate to, I think is really important because I think it's easy to be like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. But then sometimes you put something on and you're like, oh dang, like, this is, this, this is this awesome. Is the one. Even if you don't think it would be good for your body, if you feel confident in something. I think that's, I think that's a huge point. point. There are a lot of times that we overthink what mm -hmm. we're wearing and we think about all these rules and things. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is, if you feel confident in it, other people are going to perceive you as confident, confident. in it, regardless of what it is. Yeah. Um, I think it's why sometimes I can get away with um, wearing some really interesting combinations of things because I really like how it looks and people are like, wow, I would never wear that, but whoa, oh, you look great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it, it has nothing to do with the outfit itself. It mm -hmm. has to do with my perception of it. Perception is reality. I mean, that's why it's it a phrase. It is. And so your confidence is part of you. You have to, if you feel confident in it and it doesn't fit all these categories, by all means, own it because that's what makes a difference. All right. So we're back. We're coming at you with uh, the second part of our series yep. in our capsule wardrobe basics. Uh, we're answering a question from... My dear friend Alicia, she was asking about blazers and jackets and like the appropriate way to wear them and what's comfortable for all people. Well, and I have a friend who recently um, started her MBA program and she had to start wearing oh, like business professional clothing. Business. Yeah, and and she asked me the same thing, like, how do I choose a blazer? I'm not a blazer person. Yeah, and I said, oh look, there are so many different styles that you're gonna find something. That works for you. That works for you. So let's talk a little bit about different styles and shapes. So I'm wearing, this is actually a men's blazer. Um, it's Brody's blazer, right? Yeah, it's my son's blazer. <laughs> I wear it all the time. I really like it because it's oversized. It. This is kind of that boyfriend fit. I roll the sleeves, but I feel like it's, it's casual, but it also dresses things up a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Um, you've got on a, a fitted, more fitted yeah, style more fitted blazer. Boyfriend fit, I guess. But still, it's got this, you Longer, know, comes down to. Yeah, it covers my butt a little bit. You know, mid-thigh, I think. So, um, let's talk about, so that's what we have on. Mm -hmm. um, you can also do something that's semi-fitted. So, it's going to be, I, I would say that's kind of what this one is. This one's semi-fitted. Yeah. Um, or you go with something that's very fitted. So this blazer is very fitted, but as you can see, it gives, it's got um, a little bit of a peplum in back. It's a little more fitted, um, kind of hourglass look. Uh, so that's what we mean by fitted. They also come in all different lengths, um, wasted and, or cropped all the way down to, you know, you've seen some really big oversized. I love those. All right, so let's talk about how to choose a blazer that's going to be flattering on you. On you. Yeah. Because I think that's where it gets tricky. Like this one. Not. Can you hang that up, ma'am? All right, but let's look at the difference now with this one on me. Yes. I think one of the nice things about having a really basic blazer in your wardrobe is that it's it literally changes the entire look of okay. a t-shirt and jeans. Mm -hmm. Now, this, I feel comfortable wearing this. I like I like the fittedness. Um, I like the little peplum-y thing. So cute. And I like the proportion here. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit, it gives me, I've got longer. Yes, longer pants. than your waist. It's longer than my waist. So it's a nice proportion for me. This fit with the, with, coming out like this would also be very flattering on um, a larger size person mm -hmm. because even if you had hips wearing something that has a little bit of a peplum can be really really flattering especially if it's a longer peplum that goes over your hips kind of okay so here's an example of a couple other jacket blazer styles um, this one it has a different kind of a neckline it's got a zipper instead of a button but the nice thing about it is it's got this really gentle peplum. It's not super overfitted. Mm -hmm. 
Um, this would be really flattering with, um, I, I mean, I, I don't mind it with pants. Yeah. Um, a pencil skirt. A pencil skirt, depending on how tall you are. You, you want to make sure proportion-wise that, again, opposites attract. So if you're shorter up here, you want to be longer down here. Or go something, I mean, it would be cute with a little micro mini yeah. on someone my size. Now, if this was on someone who was shorter, uh -huh. then it would change the proportion. the proportion. They could wear a different style skirt with it than mm -hmm. I than Yeah. I this one is a real is a crop style. Yeah, especially on me, it's very it's very, very cropped. cropped. Hits me right above my right waist. Above your a little waist. Bit. Yeah, and I think uh, when you're wearing more of a crop top, to I mean again, it's proportion. We talk about it all the time. It's good. I pulled my shirt out to go below my waist, so this hits me at my waist, and this goes a little bit below my waist. Yeah, um, and I, then you've got dark on the bottom. Yeah, and dark on the bottom, so dark light. Dark. But it, but it would have to like wearing this one. You'd either have to go again a long pant or Ooh, a, good, a skinny could be cute, especially if you go over your hips. Yeah, those skinny jeans look really good with almost everything. Yeah, it would also be really cute with um like some palazzo pants because oh. it's so fitted up on top. Very fitted. You can do something flowy on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really. Cute. Whereas if I was doing a really oversized blazer. Flowy would be too much. Mm -hmm. be way too much flow. Too much flow. Okay, so we changed it up again. We wanted to kind of show you not only different shapes, but also um, texture or print. Mm -hmm. So Cecil, you've got this cute um, florally. Florally. It's a little bit unstructured. It doesn't have quite as much built up in the shoulder pad so, here. Like yours. Right, but it does have a really cute little sleeve. Mm -hmm. It's a little lighter weight. This would be very comfortable for someone who maybe isn't comfortable wearing a fully structured blazer. Mm -hmm. Leather midi would be cute. Right. Like, like, I mean, you can do this length, a really but I think structured... you want to keep it structured. It's got to be either a pencil or um, mm -hmm. something really simple because you've got a, a little bit of more flow on top. Yeah. You want to keep it streamlined on the bottom. Yeah. bottom. Yeah. A cute A-line leather skirt. Need to find one of those. Um, I really love this blazer, especially for spring. I wear it a lot. Houndstooth. Um, houndstooth. houndstooth, pretty traditional for spring. Mm -hmm. um, I like that it's double breasted. That's a really fun. It's different. Yeah. Um, I also, it's it's pretty oversized. It's really long. But I mean, if you were going to button it up, it does feel yeah, more fitted. fitted. But then another thing you can do with a blazer, even a structured blazer like this, is throw a belt on with it. On the outside, it's just going to change up the look. It could kind of give you a faux peplum if you. Yeah, like if that. you're looking for um, a little bit of action here, um, again, I think it looks great with jeans, but mm -hmm. it would also, this would change how I could skirt. But a, a shorter skirt because this is so uh -huh. long. Yeah. There are so many different styles. The trick is find one that works for you. Good old blazers. Good old blazers. So, blazer is another piece adding to a great pair of jeans that everybody needs in their basic order. Mm -hmm. so, Especially a black blazer. Ooh, you can never yeah, go wrong. A dark, yeah, as long as you have a one dark blazer, blazer. you're golden. Yeah, golden. Oh yeah. Follow, subscribe, Check share. out our other videos. We've got lots of videos that uh, we'd love to have you let us know what you think. Comment on. All right. Yeah. See ya. See ya.